All right, so today we're going to take a look at a couple of emails from Shadow. One's their new newsletter, which goes over some storage upgrades. Um, the other one is them answering a question I had about the upgrade process moving up from Boost and when that might start being available. A lot of you have asked about that. Also, running the Shadow app on my iPhone and playing a little bit of Red Dead Redemption 2 on there. All right, so let's jump into it. All right, so here we are over on our Shadow PC. I've got it running in uh, windowed mode right now, so I can get to anything I need to here uh, easily. Let's bring up the newsletter, the first email here. So it says this newsletter, we're hoping to, um, we're hopping between a few different topics. Although Easter is recent, rest assured, we won't make you hunt for the latest updates on what's going on with Shadow. So here is a cool one. This is where I got um, some new wallpapers, including this new, this um, 8 bit. Uh, retro 4k here it says uh, you can now find official and fan-made wallpapers in one very special place this includes brand spanking new confinement themed bob rexford wallpapers spoiler they're pretty cool so i did download this one it is pretty cool um, and there's quite a few on there we'll go and take a look at those in a minute and it says, if you want your um, shadow artwork featured in the wallpaper collection, you can share your creations using the Pimp My Shadow flare on subreddit or join them on Discord. And you can upload um, your wallpapers to the channel there to uh, have them added to that library of shadow wallpapers. So also they have the uh, springing uh, the shadow university program into action. So to the students of hashtag team shadow, we are excited to announce the shadow university program. If you've been looking for the best student program in the galaxy, look no further. Share shadow to the world by diving right into the world of gaming as a campus ambassador. Gather your squad of two to five and sign up today to compete against other university groups. So I know there's a lot of college kids and whatnot. Uh, use Shadow. Of course, it's a great idea, especially if you're just running a tablet or a low, low spec, inexpensive laptop that you've got with you. Um, as long as you have access to internet, Shadow is a fantastic option. So um, pretty cool. And then we've got the next big thing is the storage. So building baskets of additional storage. Those of you that have been following closely along with our latest announcements know the most exciting part of April additional storage. And I've been waiting for this originally they said it was going to come out this week uh, but it sounds like from this email it's actually going to be next week so as a general update we are still on track for next week uh, with a specific date to come soon have questions bring them to our shadow news uh, tomorrow at 1 p.m so our community managers can answer them during the q and a so it looks like next week we're going to finally have the additional storage. Now, I still have a question over the pricing tiers. Some of you have said to me it's going to be something like the $3 for one terabyte. But then I started looking into what the new package is going to be. And I caught some little glimpses of it saying that it's going to be $3 per 256 gigabyte. So that wouldn't be such a good deal. It's already kind of nasty that the boost package is only a 256 gig anyway. Once I install Call of Duty, I can't install anything else. So I have to keep deleting it to do other things on the Shadow PC. So I'm hoping it's not $3 per 256 but either way, I do need some more storage for uh, that package. So this is the graph of Shadow usage. So I can tell you I knew that there was huge spikes in usage uh, recently because I was having a ton of trouble um, last Friday, Saturday, almost all weekend, uh, getting on shadow, having connection problems. My latency would normally be like the 15 to 20 millisecond range. And it was more like hitting 60 and 80. Um, and there were times I couldn't log on at all for an hour or two. So it was definitely getting hit pretty hard um, over the weekend for sure with everybody being stuck home. So definitely excited to find out, uh, when that additional storage is going to happen, what the pricing is going to be and what we get. Cause I definitely need that on my shadow so I can test more things at once without having to do so much, um, uninstalling and reinstalling of things. And then of course the one spot to get all the wallpapers, which let me jump over here and show you, they've got like a little most recent and then they have, your mobile wallpapers here and then they have official desktop and fan made desktop so you just click on these and you can go in here and get your shadow um, backgrounds in here pretty cool that they're in this one spot now you can just download them and make them your background take a look at the fan made here 
a lot of pretty cool ones. I actually really like this one right here with the cutout. At first, it kind of looks like just a moon or something coming across the planet, and then you look at it again, and it's a cutout uh, to look like shadow. Pretty cool wallpaper. So interesting to see um, the fan art that comes out on here is probably going to be really cool for shadow. Um, they have a nice fan base anyway, and um, a great support community too for shadow. So over here, let's take a look at this email. So this was when I was asking them about what the upgrade process would be if you have boost now or you sign up for boost and you want to upgrade to one of the next two tiers, get the RTX 2080 build or the Titan build or whatever it may be. Um, what is the process? Some people are wondering if you're going to have to make a new account, cancel the one you have. Do they need to go rebuild you, um, your PC and the server? What is going to happen there? So what I was told um, through these new, a couple responses was both the Shadow Ultra and Infinite plans will be offered to a limited number of users this summer before wider availability later this year. So just saying the uh, 2021 on their website right now might not be exactly what's going to happen. And it says you can sign up for Shadow Ultra and Shadow Infinite mailing list here. So you're able to get updates on when those are coming. So definitely going to be some availability to those next two tiers um, in about two months or so, two or three months starting. So it'll be interesting to see that. So now also the process for upgrading is kind of what I thought. It's going to be the same with storage. On your account page, they're going to add an area where you can upgrade your package, add the extra storage, and it sounds like it's going to be the exact same thing for upgrading your tier, um, the package that you have with Shadow, which is really good. So it says, when the new tiers become available in your region and you are eligible to select them, depending on limited availability, you will be able to do so via the account page, just like your storage upgrade. As these plans have not been officially released yet, we do not have any additional information as to how the upgrade process will go at this time. Uh, once we edge closer to the release, we'll have a fact set up. But it sounds like some areas are going to start this summer. It sounds like they're trying to get it more widely available throughout the year. Um, I would assume, especially with the new heavy hitting consoles coming out this year, they want those higher packages available too. Um, and then also, of course, you're going to be able to do this from your account page. So in your account page, of course, you can sign up to find out when Ghost is available again. Um, I'm definitely, as soon as this is available, I'm going to get it, test it for the channel for you guys, do all kinds of things with it. Um, and also in here somewhere uh, in your subscription, they're going to be changing this to where um, you can add your storage. And eventually this is where you're also going to be able to upgrade your package. So it would be pretty simple. So if you're, you're hesitant um, about signing up for Boost because you're not sure what the upgrades are going to be like, how you're going to do it, storage and so forth, don't be too hesitant. Go ahead and set up your account. Go ahead and get started on Boost if you can. Um, and as those upgrades become available, you'll be able to do that right from your account page is what it is sounding like. All right, so with that out of the way, I think we're going to go ahead and jump over and we're going to take a look at some of the uh, at shadow running on my uh, iPhone and just kind of what that experience is like. And here we are. Let's launch shadow on our iPhone. Now, um, I am accessing this through beta through the test flight app on iOS. They have removed this from the store along with GeForce Now, Stadia support, xCloud beta, Shadow PC. Apple has basically gotten all of these off of the store, um, and it's a real shame. After using Shadow for the past couple of days, it shows the real magic of what Shadow PC and other cloud gaming services can do on a mobile device like this. Being able to play Red Dead Redemption 2, Call of Duty, Battlefront, Star Wars, uh, Jedi Fallen Order, on my couch, on my um, iPhone XS Max, with my Xbox controller, really showed um, some of the magic of something like Shadow PC, and I really hope that they bring them back. Um, so in here we have our settings, with our just like on PC, our allocated bandwidth, our low connection mode, uh, display resolution, uh, FPS, it'll show the native, and you can change that. You've got some things for reversing and disabling of gestures and mouse buttons. You can turn off your shadow, restart your shadow, log out of your account, and rate the app all in here. Now, you can also click on your bandwidth up here, and it's very similar to this. It's not a slider, but you get a lot of options that you can choose from, all the way up to 70, just like on your PC. 
I know a lot of this is similar on the Android side also where they have not removed um, all the cloud apps luckily but let's hope Apple gets uh, these things straight with these companies so we'll disable the virtual controller there and what we're gonna do is go back into the shortcut and just like on PC you can click home and that'll just take you that would just take you back to your desktop or whatever um, that you would do there you've also got your keyboard that you can uh, pop up so if you click home you'll go back you can just relaunch shadow um, this, that's not turning off shadow just like on your PC that's just allowing you to go home and go back reconnects the controller automatically so also we can go in here to our shortcuts again and something simple um, just tap uh, task manager so you can get your task manager up quickly and even check on that while you're on your phone and we'll bring up shortcuts again and one last thing we will click on our shortcuts again and we will just click our start panel which is just your start menu your start button you can also click close window there anytime you have a window open and the top window that's open in the shortcut if you're having trouble clicking the little X it'll just automatically close that for you so we're gonna go ahead and launch Red Dead Redemption 2 and take a look here so here we go chilling at my computer desk got my iPhone a tennis max my Xbox controller um, playing Red Dead Redemption 2 on a shadow PC so this is why I want them to bring these apps back not just shadow but all the cloud gaming apps back to the iOS store it's a really really great really cool experience to play these games uh, mobily like this I haven't tried it away from Wi-Fi yet I will do that soon um, but on my couch playing all kinds of different games uh, with my Xbox controller on my iPhone was pretty cool so definitely ran great had no issues no input lag issues no stutter issues no bandwidth uh, nothing no issues at all in the time I played about 45 minutes uh, to an hour of Red Dead Redemption um, before I made this video and tested it out and it ran really really great alright right, guys we're coming up on the end of the video here thanks a lot for checking it out please subscribe to the channel if you haven't uh, ring that notification bell so you know when new videos are out give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to leave your comment below uh, what uh, cloud service you're enjoying right now and what games you might like to see me test on Shadow PC